Hello, my name is Charles Davis, Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis, and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about how to dial in your Facebook ads and your audience on various platforms on social media. I want to welcome you. The reason that I started this video is because I came across a comment on one of the communities that I monitor and I thought it'd make a good topic for a video. But why should you care? Who am I? My name is Charles Davis, Charles the Marketing Maverick Davis. I've been in IT, digital marketing for more than four decades. I'm more like a digital marketing engineer. I'm the one they call when things are broke and it needs to be fixed and it needs to be fixed right now. I work for major corporations, Motorola, Lynn Waldorf, McDonald's. I'm the guy that when things are broken, technically or digitally marketing wise, I'm the one they call. Consider it like this. When your car is broken, you take it into your repair shop or your dealer. They have general mechanics around there, but there are some problems where they call a specialist from the corporate office to fix your car. I'm that guy. Anyway, First of all, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, I can add some value to this content. But the first thing I need to do is I want to read to you the question that prompted me to jump on here because I'm coming to you from Cebu, Philippines. I'm sitting here preparing for tomorrow, and I was looking for content, and I was scrolling through Facebook, and I came across this. This is what she says. She says, I need some advice about audiences. I have several audiences set up for me, but I'm concerned that people will fall into several categories and end up being bombarded with emails and videos. Is there a way to prevent this happening? Currently, I have 10 audiences which all focus on different topics, and it's not only a lot of content to write, but a lot to receive. Any advice on how those who have nailed the systems have worked it through? And so I provided this woman a comment on my experience because I'm a level C uh, brand strategist. I have my certification. I do this for corporations on how to do these digital campaigns. And we got some little tricks and tactics that we do that we probably do it, you've never heard of. Here's what I'm saying. Are you throwing spaghetti at the walls to see what sticks? This is my response. Did you perform a brand strategy analysis? Your potential audience will be defined during the analysis. Next, I run two tests, a Facebook ad targeting another brand that has my audience. For example, Entrepreneur Magazine, I ran a four-day ad against that group. The results came back 69% women and 31% men, both over the age of 40. I did the same for a woman e-commerce fashion. And I'm going to go over that in a minute. You want to stay tuned for that because I'm actually going to show you the group. Uh, we targeted a huge fashion brand that was did the same, that was running ads. They followed her Facebook page. And she sold out her fashions. It was passion for fashion. She was on Facebook. COVID shut down her supply chain. But now she's on TikTok doing the same thing. There are two other ways. Phantom offers and YouTube channels. Google will identify your audience for you for free. Thanks for asking. I needed the topic for my blog, newsletter, and YouTube channel. My brand personality is Sage. That's important, Sage. I test, I don't guess, just like Neil Patel. Now, the first strategy that I learned from a technical standpoint is to run a test ad. After I define my brand archetype, which is creative, adventure, and sage, because I have a three dimensional marketing maverick framework that I use, and I determine number one, to test my assumptions and my market research. Facebook will automatically validate it 
I ran a four day ad for 20 bucks and I did a broad spread, men and women. And then I looked at the results. I made an ad that was like, are you an entrepreneur looking for blah, blah, blah. And whoever identified that told me who my interest group was. The next step was you have Facebook groups and digital magazines on Facebook. All you got to do is find the one that has your audience, and then you have to see if they're running ads. And I'm going to show you that now. If you hold on a minute, I'm going to jump on the screen. As you can see, the group is Fashion Nova. It has 2.5 million likes and 3.5 million followers. This group is great for e-commerce if you're trying to sell stuff to women because they have your audience in it. As you can see, they have a lot of content, very active on Facebook. Now here's the trick. This tab right here, this is something a lady taught me years ago when I first started getting and trying to learn how to do this. And so I flip over under the about section to page transparency. And this is it's what you're looking for. This page is running ads. So let's see what they're running. This page is currently running ads. Go to ad library. This is the trick. Watch. So now I have a defined audience for e-commerce women fashion brands, the biggest one on Facebook. All I have to do is create a similar ad as one of these, target that group, get them to come over to my website, capture the email, make sure my Facebook pixel is active, and now I have my defined demographics. Now I just retarget them and tell Facebook to create similar audiences and I don't have to do all those eight, nine, and 10 things like they tell you during the advanced stage. What you want is one. You want to dial in just one with your ad spin and your ad creators. That is the cheapest way to figure this out. But I got something more to show you. Remember, I talked to you about YouTube, and YouTube is also a free resource. This is one of my channels that I'm running because, as you can see, I live in the Philippines. Doing this kind of work has provided me a very nice lifestyle. I don't live in America, but I do work with American and Australian companies. What happens with this is when you create a YouTube channel, Google is going to seed your content out in their audiences to find your audience for you. And if you have defined your archetype and you know what your channel should be about, which mine is the adventure one, and I'm supposed to show how my life is different and how, my, how I travel to live my personal brand, to live a lifestyle, I document it. And as you can see here, I have over a thousand subscribers and I'm able to publish content for people needing my services. Google will find my audience for free. That's number two. But there is one other one because I have two YouTube channels and this is the one for business owners that you might be interested in this. I need to go to that channel. Now this is the cool one. It's a video channel where I interview other personal brands. This is another way for you to get dialed into your audience for free. Get on a podcast on a YouTube channel that has your audience on it. There are thousands of them out there and they're looking for podcast guests. You can get on one of those channels and by being in their audience, you then get to see the ecosystem with your content, letting them know who you are and you get the 
podcast producer to put your video link or your brand link in the description. And that way you will get out into the universe, the, what I call the Googleverse and the ecosystem and see your content there. And you will start to drive people to the top of your funnel to come into your business. Now, if this has been of value to you, this is what I have. You've stayed this long, so that tells me you're interested in how to get your ads going and not have all that complexity and get off, get off started in a very simple way. In the con description for this video, this content, there will be a link that will send you to my newsletter and blog where I outline how to do this very simply and easily, how to get the most out of your digital marketing budget. And if you need coaching or consulting, you can reach me there. My name is Charles Davis, the Marketing Maverick. You can look me up on LinkedIn. You can Google Serio Design FX in Milwaukee. You can check out my Google reviews. And you can see that I am a legitimate digital marketer and Unix engineer because personally, I think that the industry is getting a bad rap because people are just regurgitating YouTube information or information they got from school. I'm actually out here testing this stuff. I'm sitting in Cebu right now and it's, what is it? 1241 in the morning. And I'm sitting there making this video for you. Thank you for watching.